Good morning and praise the Lord. I hope the week has been a wonderful one. One of the things that you realize is when you make God's word part of your life, part of your daily um, reflection, it shapes the way things happen the entire day. And you keep inviting God in situations and applying God's word in every situation. And by now you know the theme of the year is Genesis chapter 18 verse 14 is anything too hard for the Lord. And now, by now you know there is no prayer that is too hard for the Lord to answer. You know that there is no promise that is too hard for God to fulfill. You know there is no problem that is too hard for the Lord to resolve. And you know yesterday we looked at there is no a person who is too hard for the Lord to save. Today, I want us to reflect about how to make God's miracles happen. How to create an environment for God's miracles to happen. Remember, God is a miracle performer. God will come and do great things in your life. But what is your role as an individual? And I want us to go back to Genesis chapter 18, and I want us to read from verse 1. Then the Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth trees of Mamre as he was sitting in the tent door in the, heart, in the heat of the day. So he lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, three men were standing by him. And when he saw them, he ran to the tent door to meet them and bowed himself to the ground and said, My Lord, if I have now found favor in your sight, do not pass on by your servant. Please let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree. And I will bring a morsel of bread and you may refresh your hearts. After that, you may pass by in as much as you have come to your servant. They said, do as you have said. You realize there is what God is about to do, and there is what Abraham did. To put this into context, these are angels who appeared like men. They are angels on a mission. And you see that in the following chapter 19 of Genesis. They are going to destroy Sodom. But as God, God's word says, God will never do something without revealing his secret to his servants. And so God chooses to pass through Abraham, first of all to fulfill uh, the promise that he had made in chapter 12 of Genesis. But number two, for them to reveal to Abraham what is about to happen to the family of Lot. And you remember Lot was a cousin to Abraham. So on their way, they come to Abraham. As I was reading this, I was wondering, did Abraham know they were angels? But there's no, nothing that shows that he knew. But look at this man. He even calls them my Lord. He tells them, if I have found favor in your sight, come in that I may be able to wash your feet, give you bread uh, for you to be able to refresh yourself and take a break. And even later, Abraham slaughters a lamb for them. I want to speak about what we do, the situations we create for God to come and do his miracles in our presence. For Abraham, his entry to God's miracle, to God's presence, was actually generosity. Generosity is such a powerful tool 
that has been used in the Bible times to invite God into their presence. You remember just before the death of Jesus Christ, he goes into a home and he wasn't given water to wash his feet and he wasn't given a meal. And then a prostitute comes and with oil and washes his feet and dries with his hair. And Jesus said, I came to your house and you never washed my feet. You never, you are never generous to me. So generosity was such an important theme in the Bible times that invited God's presence and God's miracles. Abraham had a choice not to invite them, to just release them, to say hello and bye-bye. But through his generosity, he invites them, they sit down, he feeds them, and then the promise of God is made known to him and Sarah. And it is now definite, in an year's time, God will have fulfilled that promise. Then, from verse 16 of chapter 18, the men rose from there and looked towards Sodom. And Abraham went with them. He is even escorting them. And he started interceding for Sodom. He interceded for Lot. He asked of the Lord, have mercy. Brothers and sisters, as we consider the theme of this year is anything too hard for the Lord. What is it that you need to do to invite God's presence in your life? What is it, what is the key that you carry that can make God actually come into your situation? Generosity is one. Number two, invitation is another. Sometimes, we become too stingy with what God has given us. And we are not generous. Generous in terms of our tithes and our offerings. We do not want to give to other people. Some of the blessings that I have received is because I did something that was simple. I saw maybe a kid that needed to go to school and I took a burden. Or something that I did that did not cost me too much. It turns around to be the greatest blessing of my life. And I want to encourage generosity this year. Be faithful with your tithes. Be faithful with your offerings. Be generous. That doesn't mean you become careless and you don't know what you could be inviting into your presence. Abraham gave a sacrifice. It was accepted by the Lord. And out of that, God's promise was revealed to him. But also, he became an intercessor on behalf of Sodom. So you create an ambience, a situation that is able to invite God's presence, even as you continue to pray over any situation that will come this year. Please know you have a role to play in inviting God through your own generosity. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the gift of generosity that you gave to Abraham. And through that gift of generosity, he entertained the angels. You are present in that home and you promised definitely to bless Abraham and Isaac. The fulfillment of Genesis chapter 12 promise was about to be realized because he was generous and welcoming to God. Father, we pray that you may be present, you may be welcomed in our tents. Help us to know that there are people around us who are angels. People that we may not even know. People of different political persuasion, people of different ethnicity, people of different social status. Yet there are angels that come to us. Open our eyes that we may not be ignorant and that our generosity may be a source of blessing 
to the promises that you have made. Help us to create an ambience where you can be present and where you can bless us. So in any situation this year, sensitize us with the power of the Holy Spirit. Help us to be quick in listening to the Holy Spirit. And bless this day in all that we do. In any situation that we meet, in the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.